hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful corset gown with a basque waist and also with a fish tail and a cape at the shoulder and also with a yoke so i already have the drafting according tutorial up there on my channel if you've not seen it do it to go and watch it i come back and watch this particular video so this is going to be the sewing tutorial okay so without further ado let us dive into this video and don't forget to like and leave your comments if you end up enjoying this video Baby, so right now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go ahead and line in the skirt okay so this is the lining for the skirt so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to take this to the sewing machine first of all i'll go ahead and fold it down i'll go ahead and fold it with half an inch like this so once i'm done folding it down the next thing i'm going to be doing is to place it on my fabric like this okay just pay attention to what i'm doing so make sure the right side of your door face this is the right side of my door face is facing up while the right side of your fabric is also facing up like this so this is the back of the door face and this is the back side of the fabric so they are both facing down the lining is at the top of the fabric please pay attention to details okay? so you're just going to place it like this then once i'm done placing it what i'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and pin it then take it to my sewing machine and sew it but the same thing that i did for the front is what i'm going to be doing for the back then i also pin the other side so once i was done pinning it i will take it to the sewing machine and sew it like this down okay so i will also sew this other side down so guys this is me folding the downside of it as i last said So once I was done, I'll go ahead and join it to the side, as I last said. So just go ahead and sew it to the side like this, okay? So the same thing I did for the front is what I'm also going to be doing for the back. Just watch out how I'm doing this. So once I was done sewing it, I'll go ahead and turn it out like this. So this is how it's going to look like. You can see how beautiful this is, okay? so i'm just going to go ahead and keep this aside so once i was done with that the next thing i'm going to be sewing now is the upper part of this dress as you can see i've gone ahead to use the pattern paper to cut it out on my fabric oh so i went ahead to add half inch sewing allowance both for the up and also for the down i did the same thing for the back and also for the linings so this is the main fabric i've gone ahead to iron cloth stain on it just to make it firmer okay and this is the lining i went ahead to gum gum stay on it i went ahead to iron gum stain on it as you can see while for the main fabric i went ahead to iron cloth stain so i did the same thing for the light for the back as well so i ironed gum stay on the linings while cloth stain on the main fabric so this is the lining okay for the uh basque waist so i'm just going to go ahead and draw out a straight line which is going to be structure for my bony okay so you can decide to draw out any structure of your chest for me i just want it to be slant as you can see me doing so and you can also make it stereo four or five uh, layer depending on what you want so just make sure whatever you are doing they are accurate so Just make sure you measure it and they are both accurate so that one side will not be bigger than one than one side okay so this is it these are the structures for the front side for my bar squeezed and this one is the back side of the lining okay so i'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line three lines for the back so for the back you cannot have it slanted it must be straight so i'm just going to go ahead and make my street just like as you can see me doing so once i was done with that the next thing is to sew the bony on it as you can see i went down by half an inch before placing my bony and for the down i went up by one inch so make sure when you are cutting your bony you don't just start from the beginning to the end leave half inch at the up and one inch at the down side or half inch at the down side as you can see on this bony it has like a smooth area this is the sewable bony it has a smooth space at the edge so that is the place where i'm going to be sewing okay don't sew directly on the center of your bony just sew at the edge the smooth edge side okay so i hope you guys understand what i'm saying i'm just going to go ahead and sew bony to all the lines that i draw out so so i want to, to iron out the bony before sewing it to the fabric just to make it neater and more beautiful as you can see 
so i'm done sewing it and this is how it look like you can see how smooth and beautiful this is so i would advise before sewing your burning to your address go ahead and iron the bonnet and make it straight okay it make your work very easier and neat okay so this is it so once i was done the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to fold my fabric into two this is door face okay so i'm about to cut out um what i'm going to be using to cover the cups okay so i'll fold my door face into two then i will fold it into two like this i guess you can see then i'll go ahead and mark six inches okay like this then i will turn my tape like this and mark six inches as you can see i'll go ahead and mark six inches round just like as you can see me doing so once i was done i'll connect the points together and cut it out so once i was done go ahead and notch the center and at the up here just like as you can see me doing i will mark half inch at the down i will mark one inch i'll go ahead and connect the points from the start to this middle where i notched and from that middle to the one inch i mark at the down like this i'll go ahead and cut it out So once i was done with that this is the lining for the because for the cups i'll go ahead and sew it as you can see me doing i'll go ahead and use it to wrap the cup like this is how it's going to look like but this is not what i'm going to be using to wrap the cup i'm going to be using the main fabric the main material i use for the corset that is what i'm going to be using for the cup so what i'm going to be doing is for the material i'm not going to be cutting it the way i cut the door face okay because this material is stretching what i'm just going to do is to cut that um six inch by six inches just like as i did i'll go ahead and use my pin and stretch it to my cup just like as you can see me doing i'll pin it take note of what i'm doing please i'm going to go ahead and fold my cup it onto a notch the center so it's very important just watch out what i'm doing so once i was done i will just go ahead and fold it use your hand and fold it and then pin it as you can see me doing so once i was done pinning it from the left and to the right side you can see there is excesses on the middle okay so i went ahead to put all the excesses at the middle so i can cut it out so this is going to be serving as the dart i will just go ahead and cut it out remember the method i'm using for this is different from the method i used for the um cup lining okay the reason is because this one is stretchy so i just went ahead to use this method to see how it's going to look like so once i was done i will go ahead and cut out the SSCs and remove the pins as you can see me doing so this is how it look like can you see so i'll go ahead and fold it into two and sew it okay so that is how to remove that if you're using velvet okay because velvet is stretchy so i'll just go ahead and sew it just like as you can see me doing so if you cannot use this method you can also use this the other the first method i use for the door face you can use it to cut it out sew it and use it to wrap your cup then cut out all the excesses it's still the same thing so it's as simple as that please when you are cutting on door face don't use this method to cut your um cup lining or door face because door face is not stretching i only use this method because this fabric is stretching so once i was done as you can see i'll just go ahead and use it to cover it can you see how firm it is don't forget the place i sewed on the fabric that is the center part and the center part of the cup is going to be meeting each other including the downside you just make sure they are meeting each other so if there's any excesses it will be at the side so once i was done i'll go ahead and stretch it as as you can see me doing and just go ahead and sew it like this so just watch out what i'm doing i hope you understand what i'm saying it's very easy if you do not understand just watch out what i'm doing you will understand better so go ahead and sew it on it so once i'm done sewing it i will do the same thing for the other cup okay so i'll go ahead and cut out all the excesses just like as you can see me doing so once i was done i'll go ahead and remove the pin and this is how it look like can you see how beautiful this is just cut out all the excesses you don't need it okay so this is how it is i will do the same thing for the other side i've already gone ahead and do the other side i'll just go ahead and cut out the excesses on the cup so once i was done with that i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the main dress so this is it okay 
so what i'm going to be doing now is to notch the center of this uh, dress i'll go ahead and use my pin and pin it together so that i will know the center there's no light out but i'll just go ahead and iron it so it'll be easier so i will pin it like this then fold it into two like this as you can see me doing i will notch the center this is the method i normally use if there's no light for me to put gator on the window so the middle on the cup we are notched before on the cup and the middle i notch on the um down side i will just go ahead and pin the two um pin it together from the window okay so i'll go ahead and pin it run like this pin one side first then i'll go i will pin the other side so once i was not pinning the first side i will pin the other side so once i was not pinning it this is how it look like you can see how beautiful this is so i'm just going to go ahead and sew it like this round so as you can see me doing i'll just go ahead and sew it and i'm also going to be doing the same thing for the other side i hope you understand what i'm saying if you do not understand i hope you also understand what i'm doing it's very easy i have a lot of corsets tutorial here on my channel so if you do not understand this perfectly because i felt like this is kind of a little bit fast you can go ahead and check my other videos on corset making so you will see it so i'm just going to go ahead and also do the same thing for the other side so this time i'm just going to be pinning it from the beginning there is no need of me joining the middle together because i find out that is the same thing so if you're all do not rhyme or do not end up being equal you can go ahead and remove the pin and try it again okay until it is equal so this is me sewing it as you can see me doing so once i was done sewing it i'll go ahead and remove the pin and this is how it look like can you see how beautiful this is so this is so neat and clean so the same thing i did for the front is what i'm going to be doing for the lining as well so this is the cup for the i'm just going to go ahead and notch the center for the lining and place the cup on it so this cup is kind of a little bit too big so once i'm done sewing it i'll go ahead and trace out the ssc's before i trace out the ssc i will just place it on my on the front side and any ss i will just go ahead and cut it out so as you can see just make sure you do the same thing be patient with this it's not easy so i have to fast forward it and make it a little bit faster so that the video will not be too long so i just hope you understand the same thing i did for the front is what you're going to be doing for the back so this is what i was saying just go ahead and place the middle of the lining at the middle of the uh, front side together pin it then go ahead and use your hand and place the pin it together go ahead and use your hand and um, place the lining to the cup okay so you are going to be seeing all the ss's so just go ahead and cut out the ss's just make sure you pin it together first before sewing it so i've gone ahead to sew it i've gone ahead to cut it i didn't know that the part where i sew it this shoe okay so i've gone ahead to sew it so right now i'm just going to go ahead and sew the side like this as you can see me doing so i'm going to be sewing the two sides i'm so sorry the um cup for the up i didn't know how i omitted that part i didn't know that the i don't know why that part didn't show on my video okay so it's very easy you just need to do pin it together and sew it from the starting to the end is very easy okay so once i was done sewing the up you can also check out my other video and see how i did that i will sew, sew the two sides like this so for the down side i'm not going to sew the down side okay i'll just go ahead and turn it out from that down side that i didn't sew as you can see me doing so just turn it out and give it a very good press if you have light for me i don't have light i'm just going to go ahead and just look for solution because i need to sew this this cloth is very urgent it's going to be used soon so i'm just going to go ahead and sew it like this okay so once i was done sewing it as you can see you can see the thread i've gone ahead to sew it okay if you have light make sure you iron it okay to make it more neater and firmer so once i was done with that the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to notch the center of the down part so i've already i'm um, done sewing the upper part i will notch the center of the skirt as you can see me doing then i will place the upper which is the corset the upper part of it to the skirt just like as you can see me doing make sure the middle of the upper part is at the middle of the skirt so i'll go ahead and use my chalk and trace it out like this as you can see me doing so once i was done tracing it out i will go ahead and cut it out note i did not cut exactly where i marked i went up by half an inch that is going to be the journey allowance okay so i'll go ahead and run a stitch over there 
I'll just go ahead and sew it just like as you can see me doing before I attach it to the up part. So once I was done sewing it, I'll go ahead and pin the middle of the upper part and the middle of the down side together just like as you can see me doing like this. Just go ahead and pin it. Just be careful while doing this, okay? So once I was done pinning it, I'll go ahead and notch it. Notch it so that it will be easier for me to sew. So if you are finding it difficult to sew this kind of bask uh, basket, just go ahead and notch it and burn it just like you see we see me burning it like this just be careful and go ahead and pin it before sewing it okay so you are just going to go ahead and sew one side before sewing the other side so once i was done we'll go ahead and shift the other side and start sewing it from the notch that i marked there so just sew it like this So I will go ahead and remove all the pins. So once I was done sewing the front, I will go ahead and keep it aside and this is the back. So I will go ahead and arrange the back like this. The next thing I am going to be doing now is to line it. So I will go ahead and arrange the linings on it. So just like this. So I will go ahead and sew the up like this, sew the side, sew the side like this. I will leave the down open. So the same thing I did for the front is what I'm going to be doing for the back, okay? Once I was done sewing the upper part, I went ahead to remove the pin and top stitch. So after top stitch, I'll go ahead and fold it back and sew it the way, just like the way you see me doing now. After sewing it, I'll go ahead and turn it out like this. I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side. Make sure once you're done sewing it, you iron it. So I've already gone ahead to sew the back side, okay? So this is the back squeeze for the front and this is the skirt part of the back. I've gone ahead to sew the darts for the back, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mark the zipper, the space for the zipper. And once I was done marking the space for the zipper, I'll go ahead and sew it from this chalk area where I marked down to the end part of the fish tail. So once I was done sewing it, this is how it looks like. You can see how beautiful it is. So right now, this is the upper part. I'm done sewing it. And what I'm going to be doing now is to join the downside of the skirt and the upper part of the dress together. I'll go ahead and pin it like this then sew it so i did show where how i made this upper part i'm going to be making a separate video on how to do that enter on its own okay so i'm going to be making a separate video on how to make that so once i was done pinning it i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it like this and i'll also go ahead and sew the other side so once i'm done sewing it i'll I'll come back and show you guys so i'm done sewing it this is how it look like as you can see so once i was done i went ahead to insert the rope on the uh, rope casing so this is how it look like as you can see the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to place the front side the front dress to the back side and go ahead and shaping it remember i added one and a half inch joining allowance so i'm going to go ahead and shaping it with one and a half inch so go ahead and shaping it with your own measurement okay so once i was done i'm going to go ahead and attach the yoke and also i will go ahead and attach the uh, shoulder cape so i didn't show it in this video because this dress was urgent so i couldn't um add it to it and moreover there was no light to charge phone because i filmed with my phone so i'm going to be making a separate video on how to make the shoulder cape and i'm also going to be making it i already have a video on how to add yoke to the upper part of your dress so just go and check out my other video you're going to see it it corsets with you so this is the end of this video hope it was helpful if you end up enjoying this video don't forget to like leave your comment and also please subscribe to my channel turn on post notification if you want to see more videos like this and also share with your friends and loved ones that are also fashion designer so see you on my next video bye